Hello friends, welcome back to the Canada Info Hub channel. My name is Wolo and I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I love to talk about life in Canada and immigrating to Canada. So how are you doing? It's been a while. Um, yeah, last week was very busy for me. This week is going to be super busy for me and I'm hoping to give some major, major, major announcements. Anyway, um, if this is the first time you are subscribing to this channel or seeing this video, I just usually request for you to hit the notification bell, give me some thumbs up. If you want to destroy the like button, go ahead and destroy the like button. That's what I usually tell everybody to do. Just give me some thumbs up, you know. Um, Today's video, it's not the usual immigration topic because I talked about it in my last video that I was going to say something or I was going to talk about something very important and I think I owe it to you guys. I owe it to everybody who is subscribed to this channel, especially those who are planning to immigrate to Canada. I owe it to you guys to tell you the reality of things in Canada. I shouldn't just be telling you, come to Canada, come to Canada, come to Canada. And then when you come to Canada, you start seeing some things that you're like, oh, I wish I knew all these things. So that's the purpose of this channel, to tell you the reality of things in Canada, to tell you how to immigrate to Canada, and to tell you how life is beautiful sometimes in Canada. But today I'm not going to talk about how beautiful life is in Canada. I'm going to tell you how life is not so rosy in Canada. Um, it's not all the time that it is so rosy. Um, so I have to balance my kind, I have to balance my reporting out. So everybody who is um, excited about immigrating to Canada, you have to just prepare yourself mentally, prepare yourself um, in such a way that uh, you are ready and up for any challenge that you eventually face when you come to canada so today's topic is life is not so rosy in canada i'm so sorry i have to talk about it yes please i just have to talk about it so that you know so you start preparing your mental states preparing your mind preparing yourself for some of these hiccups that people face number one is depression yes i'm talking about depression now because it's a very sensitive word um not every african person like to talk about depression but of course depression is real and in canada it even gets worse so let's say in africa people say i am depressed i'm depressed i'm depressed people don't really take it seriously like what's making you depressed if, especially for those who have good jobs who are thriving in their careers who have families and attending parties one weekend or the other you know in lagos anybody who lives in lagos they're always attending one party or the other so you see the happiness you see the vibes and all that and if you're a social person you're always socializing going here and there moving from one place to another visiting people visiting family visiting friends once you get to canada it becomes a different ball game because you don't see people you will visit you know your friends and family members are not here with you you become so isolated you become so lonely and then add the weather to that the weather just changes everything so we are entering the season where people really get depressed because um from fall to winter is a very long period of cold people are stuck indoors people are not receiving the sun people are not socializing like they are supposed to do and it causes depression so all these issues you know add to it you find lots of immigrants being depressed there is usually the honeymoon phase when new immigrants come to canada they are so excited about leaving um the chaos and the chaotic life behind like the uh, leaving lots of lawlessness behind and then they immigrate to canada there's this excitement you're excited oh you're now in canada you're no longer facing traffic somewhere um you are not sure if one police person is going to stop you and harass you and extort money from you and then you eventually come to canada you are you are happy that you've left all these things behind but you start facing some challenges that pushes you into depression so people don't really get out of that feeling of being depressed especially when things are not working out for them you know canada itself is so challenging it's not so rosy so i am sharing this part of it so that you can actually be prepared prepare yourself mentally for the challenges ahead prepare yourself um 
to fight against depression by you know socializing with people you can move out of your own community to other communities there are several communities in canada or if you want to stay within your community you can stay within your community and socialize socialize as much as you can make new friends that can become family to you that you can call them if you have ch challenges especially for those who have families and you have children make new friends that your children can play with so that you don't feel the depression this season like this cold season is a season where people get depressed easily and doctors usually recommend people to take vitamin d so that's number one number two is job loss the things that make canada not so rosy is job loss the uncertainty of jobs in canada is so high especially for industries that are not um how will i put it now there are industries where the jobs are always 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 consistent and there are industries where the jobs are not consistent they just wake up one morning and tell you oh um based on our budget we are unable to afford having you as an employee therefore um your employment will be terminated blah 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 and the next thing they are packing your things in a box and you're leaving the office you went to work in the morning very happy by the time you're leaving the office you are being fired so there's so much uncertainty of jobs in canada so you just have to be prepared you know uh back in our home country there is this feeling that if you have a permanent job you are secured but in canada even your permanent job offer might not be so secured you might just lose it anytime you could just do something that might be little it might not be so bad and they will see it as a reason to terminate your employment so the job loss is so high there is usually i would use the word usually no job security so you just have to prepare yourself the only good thing is that if you lose your job if you lose your job by way of termination or maybe uh, by way of layoff there is the employment insurance income but there are a lot of mistakes immigrants do so when they come to canada and get this good job offer that pays like hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand canadian dollars and then the lifestyle of the people now um is elevated to that salary point so much that they get a mortgage of let's say seven hundred thousand dollars and then when they lose their job the employment insurance cannot even sustain the mortgage payment and then people start panicking and all that and recently in alberta a lot of people have been losing their jobs the biggest oil and gas company in alberta also announced laying off workers you know so uh, the uncertainty of jobs in canada makes it not so rosy you know one minute you're working in one big oil and gas company next minute you're being fired it's so it makes it not so rosy that's why so many immigrants you know um go into occupations that are always consistent in terms of jobs like the healthcare sector the healthcare sector no matter what even if you lose your job today tomorrow you'll get another one except you must have done something bad and they revoke your license then in that case it will be very difficult for you but if you've not done anything wrong if you lost your job in one healthcare sector you can easily get another job for healthcare sector there's always jobs but for other sectors okay healthcare sector information technology food industry retail there are always jobs but any other sector the uncertainty is just so high so just prepare yourself and prepare your mind i'll i'll talk about my story um when i came i had a i had a contract job my first job was a contract job for six months and then they now told me they will renew it for another three months and then one month later they told me uh based on some restructuring they will not be able to renew it and they were going to ask me to stop working at the end of the month meanwhile the contract had not even got into the point where i was supposed to end the contract so it put me in a position where i had to start thinking of looking for another job immediately so that's why i am sharing this video and letting you know how life is in canada so you don't um, get so excited um, you have to prepare yourself and start saving as much as you can just in case you experience job loss and you have you know you are used to a, a certain kind of lifestyle that you cannot maintain you just have to start saving money to sustain that lifestyle and you are not under so much pressure so that's the second point there why i said life is not so rosy in canada although there, there is job loss but you have the employment insurance and you have to plan your life around that employment insurance or savings or you start a side hustle that can um sustain you once you experience job loss 
the third reason why i said canada is not so rosy is debt the debt lifestyle um a lot of immigrants make this mistake of going beyond their means by acquiring things that they cannot sustain financially and you know because of the credit lifestyle where you buy things and you pay in bits it makes people fall into debt you know and then have this huge sum of debt where they are under pressure to pay and that's why some people when they are saying if you come to canada you will not be rich it's true because if you are thinking or if you have the mindset of coming to make more money in canada just remove that mindset if you come to canada you may not be rich but you have the quality of life that you desire uh, the reason why you will not be rich is because you have so many bills to pay yes you have so many bills to pay but there are some people who have found a way around not paying so much so many bills and one of the major bills people pay is actually um housing especially those who have a mortgage mortgage is the most expensive um, thing to pay for then followed by other little 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 costs including child care for people who have children below six years who are going to attend daycare that's the next big thing people pay for so based on all these things a lot of people find themselves in debt um that they are trying to pay off and then they are neck deep in debt why they are trying to dig themselves out of it it becomes frustrating it becomes depressing then if you now add job loss to that you now add depression to that it makes life not so rosy for someone in canada so where your counterpart in africa is dancing every saturday every sunday in a party because the lifestyle over there in africa is pay as you go even in some asian countries you do pay as you go like if you don't have the money you cannot afford anything but in canada here <laughs> you have to use your credit card to buy certain things and not it's not everything you buy at once some things you just buy in buy them and pay in bits so the best thing to do is actually avoid anything that you buy on credit anything that you have to pay on credit and you don't have the money for it avoid that so that in case anything happens to you in case you lose your job you have minimum expenses you, your expenses are not so high enough and you can manage them um conveniently until you get something else to do so that's the third reason why i said canada is not so rosy i wish one can live without um paying things in credit but then this is the canadian society for you. you just have to adjust to this kind of lifestyle the fourth reason why i said canada is not so rosy is the lack of friends some people are not so used to going out and making friends and socializing yes and you know when you come to a new place you want to like observe people before you start opening up to people and the truth is people within certain communities they actually do this competition amongst themselves oh this person has spent five years the person has not bought a house me i've spent 10 years i have not bought a house this person that just came yesterday has bought a house you know there's this internal competition amongst community people and that's why some people try to detach themselves from certain group of people they don't want to make friends with their fellow community members they rather go and make friends with another community members and when you're making friends with another community member there are certain things you don't really enjoy you know if you're the person who likes to dance who likes to you you like to be around people but you find out that because your community members are behaving in a certain way you want to like distance yourself from them and then you start isolating yourself from your community members and it makes it not so rosy for you so these are the reasons people have and then they sit down and think oh after all i'm tired of this canada self let me just go elsewhere let me find somewhere else to go you know and um they pack their things and then leave canada at the end of the day because they are tired of this kind of lifestyle so before you pack your bags to leave your home country you need to prepare yourself mentally for all these challenges i talked about i mean you have to prepare your mind prepare yourself if you're a social butterfly you come here you might not find people who are social as you are you just have to adapt one way or the other and the process of adapting that is what makes canada not look so rosy to some people um for people who have adapted someone like me who have i, I have adapted i mean i i can stay indoors from morning till night and i'm not missing anybody i'm not i'm not you know nothing is bugging me so you have to adapt there's also something i didn't mention when i was talking about the job loss aspect and that is the fact that there are some people who were like you know senior managers in your home country and then when they immigrated to canada they found it difficult getting into that same level 
of position that they had back in their home country and then they had to resort to doing some form of shitty jobs to just to put food on the table for their families so these kind of situations actually affect the psyche of these immigrants and make it look like canada is not so rosy for them and you know especially for people who have to write their licensing exams they spend years upon years upon years of writing trying to get into the system trying to get regulated so that they can you know get into the job that they used to do before it affects people's psyche and make it look like canada is not so rosy so um you just have to prepare yourself prepare your mind very well before you make that move um and i felt i owe it to you guys to let you know the reality of things so i don't just tell you how to immigrate i also tell you what you should prepare for um in terms of um the other side of things in canada so that you don't come here and start seeing things differently um we are, your expectations does not match your reality you know just have an open mind when it comes to immigrating have an open mind and tell yourself that you might be starting life all over again for some people yes but for some people they don't really start life all over again they are people who are smart and they know how to network and know how to socialize they know how to connect with employers they're able to get the kind of jobs that they want but for some people who are kind of laid back not so social it might affect them and it might take years to really adapt it might take years for them to really get what they really want so i decided i was going to share this i hope i'm not discouraging you guys it's not my duty to discourage it's my duty to encourage you yes i love to encourage so please stay positive stay um hopeful and just block everything negative out of your mindset this week and everything will align for you thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye